Hello aspiring actuaries, my name is Michelle. This is Actuarielle, my actuarial YouTube channel. I did my first actuarial internship in January 2013, which means it has been 11 years since I started off as an intern. And this past week we got our new cohort of winter interns at our office, which is always so lovely and so fun to meet all of them. It's also a little weird for me personally because I do get recognized by the interns, which is flattering and also weird because I'm only famous in this very teeny tiny little niche. If you're one of our interns and you're watching this video, Hi. As the self-appointed chief nonsense officer or CNO of the actuarial department, I take it upon myself to share some daily nonsense, usually a terrible pun, um, sometimes a riddle, and sometimes some advice. And this past week, because it was new intern week, I decided to share a piece of advice that seemed to resonate with all the people at the office. So I thought I would share that piece of advice with you. And I learned this piece of advice 11 years ago in that very first internship. There was a day where my colleague was very busy, trying to get some work done. And I asked him, is there anything I can do? Can I go get you some coffee? And he replied with, at this company, we don't hire interns to get us coffee. We hire interns to do the work so that we have time to get coffee ourselves. <sighs> this offhanded comment, this offhanded joke that he made has stuck with me and has formed the way that I have viewed interns, the way that I have viewed my career. It also makes me conscious that I don't know which random piece of advice, which random statement I tell people is gonna stick with them forever, but that's a whole other thing. At my company, we view internships as an investment. We are taking the time to train you so that you can learn and grow and explore and hopefully come back as full-time employees. We don't view interns as the people that we just delegate the garbage work to and then have no intention of actually rehiring where there are some companies that I think do that where they hire too many interns and don't hire many back full-time. But that's me just like, mm -hmm. you know, just nothing. Just a little shade, just a little tea, just a little ah. I'm not trying to advocate for my company. I don't even try to say what company I work for on the internet because that's not the point of this. I think there are lots of companies that come in with this same philosophy of we are going to give interns equivalent work to an entry level actuary. We want you to learn and grow and do so that you can be the people that we can delegate to. And it is an investment because it does take time. From my perspective as someone who's coaching interns and who's coaching entry level employees, it is a very hard skill to learn to coach because I can take a task that I can do in half an hour. It takes me half an hour to explain it to you, another three hours for you guys to do it. Like it's an investment, but over time you learn, you get faster, you ask questions, you put more pieces together. And that is why we love working with interns. It's hard to coach. It's hard to be an intern, but it is so worth it. I always tell interns not to just look at the work that you're delegated as an intern. Even though we do try to give interns the same work as an entry-level employee, I also want you to look at the kinds of work that the people around you are doing, the people who've been there for five years, 10 years, 20 years, and say, is that a career progression that I see myself doing? At some companies, your progression up the corporate ladder, it's going to involve more and more experience with clients. That'll be more at a consulting company. Whereas at some companies, it might be more and more product project management or more technical work or more specialization in a certain field. Look at where people's careers go and say, is that something that I want to target? Now you don't have to decide when you're an intern. If you are lucky enough to do multiple internships, that is a huge blessing for you. I think doing internships at all different kinds of companies is really, really important. For me, when I was a little baby intern and I was looking for internships and I didn't even know what type of actuary there was, I told myself I wanted to try something in consulting and something in insurance. Now, now that I know a little bit more about being an actuary, I would say try something in life, try something in property and casualty. I hear a lot of students say they want to try something in reinsurance if you can get that. I've never done reinsurance, so that would be a cool experience. Personally, I did one internship in health and benefits consulting and then the rest of my career was in property and casualty insurance. Um, some places call that general insurance. And I just let all the new interns know that if they're thinking, mm, I still want to try out life, like good, go try it. But also property and casualty is the right choice. So like try life, see that it's worse so that you can come back and realize, oh yeah, I had it so much better in property and casualty. 
I really do tell them that though. Yeah, but I am biased. Internships are the best way to try out different jobs. It's the best way to get yourself an entry level job once you graduate university because you already have some experience. I don't know how it works across the world, but in Canada at least, like these are well paid internships, so that's nice too. If you just started an internship, good luck. If you're looking for an internship, also good luck. If you're a full time employee and you work with interns, be kind to them because it's hard being a beginner. If you watch my content, you know I switched teams six months ago and I was a beginner again and it was, it was really tough. Be kind to the interns, be kind to the beginners. If you're working at a good company, everyone is willing to answer your questions, everyone is there to help you. No one wants to see you fail. Everyone wants to see you succeed and just remind yourself that. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, all the YouTube things. I love you guys, thank you for calling. Bye!